Howdy folks, my name is Lanzo90 and welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Well, I did a test and it looks like our glitches are still around. However, I'm like, I'm not sure they're bad enough that we need to like get rid of it. We'll see if it gets worse as we play. But uh, I did crack up the base game graphics detail. So things look even better than before. As you can see, the ground has like actual terrain, nubbling, whatever you want to call it, texture. <laughs> it looks pretty good. So even if we do have to turn off the realism or the better visuals mod, it'll at least look better anyway. Okay. Early aviation. Don't think so. Small structures. Don't think so. Decouplers. Absolutely. That's very important. Medium structures. Eh. General rocketry. Yes. Advanced rocketry. Eh. Like a really big fly, that's cool. Strut connector. Tricoupler can be pretty good. Ability. New pro body is pretty good. Oh, survivability, absolutely. I should have prioritized that, actually. Let's see, we got drogue shoots and stuff there. Yeah, let's get those too, because uh, I can't afford it. Gadgets, submersible, oceometry, and bathymetry. And the mystery goo containment unit. Absolutely. Gizmos, basics. I don't know if we need you. I don't know if we need you. These little things can be kind of useful, but not like they're all they're only one point, I guess, but we'll see. If it comes up that we need a part like that, I will go unlock them. But for now, ooh, baby, do we have some new parts? Now we could try to go land this in the water and get rid of that mission real quick. Just a little spooky. I'm gonna give it a try here. Cause now we have like parachutes and stuff. We do need like a bunch of shleem here, so I'm gonna do that. Gonna do that. Oh yeah, I didn't get my drogue shoots. Gonna be extra cautious. We're gonna do two layers of parachutes here. What we'll do is these will deploy seconds. So actually like this. You're going to deploy at Want that? Oops. Leave that one the way it was, and then this these will deploy at 500. We need our decoupler, not that one, <laughs> or that one, this one. Okay, now. Probably just take a small booster, to be honest with you. I think this could probably get us to the water just fine. on it. I suppose we can take this. We don't really need them that badly, but because something we're definitely gonna lot land a lot of things in the water over time and we'll be able to take these measurements anyway, but might as well get them now, I suppose. Do do want Jebediah or Valentina for this. So not sure where Jebediah was. There might be a vehicle in the space plane hangar. All right, this is, but Valentina's a pilot, so it should be fine. I don't know how much juice you need. Looks pretty good. Watch. All right, 
Yeah, this is the real deal. Probably should have put uh, fins on this. Yeah, we still get weird stuff like that, but... This will kind of be the main test of whether or not, like, this is bad. Oh, God. Okay. I didn't realize we should probably, uh... Have cut back the throttle even more than that. Okay, it looks like we're gonna make it to the water. But yeah, what I thought about with the oh, that's our uh, that's where Jebediah is. That's why I did the test earlier to see if our graphics were doing better. We... The G-forces aren't too bad. They are not. So yeah, we have to go recover that vehicle, which is not a big deal. But yeah, what I was meant by this is the big test is I was wondering if like all smoke effects were going to look like this. I don't know why that's even there. There shouldn't even be a smoke effect there. Now it's gone, now it's back, I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. Probably more... more stopping power than we need, but I wanted to be very sure that we weren't going to kill our first flight. <laughs> we can only go to four times warp when we're in the atmosphere because it has to do physics warp. And sploosh. I don't want to rotate because this thing has to be underwater, I think. Collect like bathymetry data. Shallows of Kerman's water. Kerman's shallow open waters contain relatively contain relatively little interest, only some microbial life forms and numerous bits of scrap metal. Mystery goo, the goo escapes into the water. Oops. Log pressure data. Log temperature. Crew report. We don't have to do the thing where we get out and take everything out, but we do want to get an EVA report data, get back on board, and recover the vessel. There we go. Nice fat stack of science. Valentina has some XP. We need to go look at all the ruins she got. Research, Kerbin's waters, Kerbin's surface, splashdown, first landing on Kerbin, G-Force 4. Speed record. Let's use the tracking station to grab. The heck? Can't be us. Say with all of our visual effects and stuff on, it's actually kind of hard to see where we are. There we are. There's KSB Shuttle 1. Just go ahead and recover that, please. It's no longer necessary. That's what I was looking to do. All right. So, I, should... oh, I didn't do the test. I'm dumb. Shoot. <laughs> I'm dumb. We can do it again. F it, we'll do it live. Won't need as, won't need as many things. I'm gonna get rid of the extra parachute. Why not? Why shouldn't I have it? Pull you way, way down because you were certainly well over 
stock. We'll try to keep our pilots balanced because I don't think she can even get XP for doing another in on ground flight like this. I might add the fins. Might see if we can just kind of get a little higher. Can you take, well, I guess we could get some in flight data if I take everything else. We might as well just to make it worth a little bit more. There are our fins. Need to, eh. These fins should still be fine for now. for putting that much on me might actually do want to another parachute no for sure but just feels a little a little risky there we go I'm not even going to name these aircraft because they're not really... Well, these are just little test flights. These aren't actual, like, rocket designs that are going to go down in the annals of history. Go, Jebediah. Nice. Relatively gentle turn here. If I forgot to do that test, we could have got so much done in just that one, just that one session. Thanks. We're going to go into some, which I might not even make it into the water here. And turn hard enough. I don't think it's going to make it. I might be able to roll it into the water though, in a worst case scenario. Wow, it's like you're literally on the edge here. <laughs> Second shoots are gonna deploy now. Yeah, if we're not in the water, I'm just gonna roll us into the water because <laughs> didn't do all that just to not get this done again. You know what, I guess. A little bit more data there. I guess you can get this. If you're falling slow enough, I might be able to EVA you, but... Uh, <laughs> it's like the riskiest thing you can ever do in this game is doing the... Uh, doing an EVA in midair. Okay. You're not going to be in the water, so you may have to do a do a roll. What that is, is that the wings breaking? Eesh. This is usually pretty power intensive to do a roll like this, but. I go too quick here. 
We are technically splashed down. I am going to run the test. Then we will also do the mystery of you again because it never gets all the data in one go. Well, actually, this is the short, so it's slightly different. Uh, I actually want to get Jebediah out here and actually grab this data. Do any of you says, remember what I said? There's like two types of shores. Well, this is the other type of shore, like riding inside the water as opposed to like the rest of where we were before. It's kind of cool, actually. Except in space, it's really annoying because like you can get data for both biomes and space above it. And it's like very finicky to get this one because it's such a small little line. Cover vessel. Let's hope that we got the test done that time. I think we did. You heard it splashing. It was in the water. Bunch of ribbons for him. Hey, it worked. Okay. Escape the atmosphere. Test that in orbit. Probably not. Radial mount. See, you have to do that altitude and speed, which just makes it too difficult. The radial decoupler splashed down. That's not so bad. Because temperature, these are all like airplane missions. Probably do this. Probably get that done. All right. So now... Got even more science, thanks to science. Magnetometer, science junior, experiment storage, inline battery, radiators. I definitely want to get basic science at least. And survivability. Ah, crap. We really need that because the drogue shoots are extremely nice. We can kind of turn the regular parachutes into drogue shoots, but yeah. All right, so we now like to get into space. We could send a Kerbal into space with this weird cockpit. No, it doesn't have, we don't have the survivability and this thing doesn't have a blade of painting on it, so we cannot do this. And I think that exposed cockpit can actually cause issues. But I do have two types of probe bodies now. So how good are you? You have stability assists. Uh, you command, command, remote assistance. way to see like how how strong it can turn I'm not seeing it uh, this type of transmitter can't transmit science I guess that's just a control transmitter then but maybe that's the difference between like uh, partial control and full control Let's use a spark sparklinic here. And we're done to do science, so we should probably... It's hard to strap science onto that thing. There we go. Okay. Probably try to take this back safely. It's going to land. It's probably not going to go into orbit. Probably you don't want it to orbit. Bet I could slap. Parachute onto it. Let's find it. Parachutes kind of need their own category, huh?
Science Junior might be overkill, but eh. <laughs> Such a big chungus. There we go. That's what I was looking to do. Gonna put the magnetometer on this one. Side mounted parachutes. that style. Cogs oil, liquid fuel, or the space lee. Guessing the space lead probably goes into space, or it's better in space. Thrust in a vacuum. Yeah, that one doesn't have gimbling, so we'd rather. Oh, you're very small. Weird to me, we already have like some larger fuel tank sizes. <laughs> this thing is probably needlessly complicated for our uh, first thing to go into space, but looks terrible. <laughs> All right, I think we're too big for our bridges here. onto here. You know what? Just take one of these. I have plenty of opportunities to get more mystery goo in space. And this is a much more recoverable package size. We have large fuel tanks and small engines. If we had tweak scale, we could just tweak down the size of the other engines, but I think for now we have to just like stack these. Let's wait to like copy this too. Again, I just like to eyeball things. I'm not going to look up like how much of Delta V we really need to do this. I 
but I do have the stage recovery mod, which means if I strap parachutes to my boosters, I get them back. should work. All right. So, and it doesn't need an antenna if we're going to recover it, but that have control surfaces. The Delta Winglet. It's very, very large, but... When you're talking this tiny little probe body, it doesn't have much control until it has the gimbaling engine and it has some more, but... All right, this is... What do we call our first rocket here? I'll figure it out and then we'll talk about it in the next video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, never hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.